Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about how things are uh, starting to come together under China. At least they appear to be. If you've been watching this channel, you know that I have had some uh, pretty heavy reservations about how the U.S. is uh, leaving <laughs> over there. And uh, without a regional token security force or uh, a country willing to step up and provide that token security force, I, I thought things were going to get really bad really quickly. We have some good news. The foreign ministers of China, Pakistan, and Afghanistan, they met, had a little meeting. They reached an eight-point consensus. The eight things they agreed upon, the in-country parties, so these are the political parties in Afghanistan, okay? they're going to pursue peace, and China and Pakistan will facilitate that. So... They are saying flat out that if you want the rest of these items, you're going to have to use the political process, not the military process, to be involved in anything. The second item is that the three countries become friends. This is mainly China saying it's going to act as mediator between Pakistan and Afghanistan. The third item, China and Pakistan are going to support reconstruction and economic development. This is good news. When you're talking about reconciliation, economic development helps a lot. This is going to help keep the peace. Number four, the Belt and Road Cooperation will increase, and uh, there will be increased connectivity with the rest of the region. This is what China is getting out of it. They want to bring Afghanistan out. They want to make it a major player in the region um, rather than you know, that country nobody ever talks about and nobody trades with. Number five, Pakistan and China will uh, provide a new focus on helping to develop health care and education in the country. Good news. They've agreed to continue working on public health stuff together. Number seven, security cooperation. Um, both Pakistan and China have opposition groups that they believe are hiding in Afghanistan. That's going to be the stated reason for what they're doing. That's how they're going to get their, their forces in. And it's not going to be a lot. It's not going to be an occupation. It's just going to be a token security force. Both of them have a plausible reason for doing this that has nothing to do with maintaining the peace. However, if their troops are there, it'll help do that. It will help reinforce that first item, that we're going to do this politically. We're going to pursue peace. And then the eighth item is just that there's going to be more face-to-face -face meetings between the three parties. So, we have that regional coalition. It's not necessarily the one I would have picked, but it's the one you've got. <laughs> um, and there are motivations for each country involved to make it work. This is kind of what we've been waiting for. Um, now, there's still a chance that this could spiral out of control, but this uh, movement from China and Pakistan greatly reduces the risk of loss of life. Um, as long as everybody holds up to their, their stated uh, beliefs here. If everybody follows through with this, this is a good thing um, overall for the country. So I, I don't want to get too, um, you know, all sunshine and rainbows yet, but it does appear that the framework for keeping the peace after the U.S. and NATO leaves is coming into is coming into view, and it does appear to be focused more on winning hearts and minds than simply keeping them in check. Now, in the United States, 
be ready for this. We're gearing up to face off against near peers. One of the primary ones is China. There will be politicians who attempt to uh, take advantage of this. You know, we did all this work and now China's going to get the benefits. Fine, that's okay, because we're not supposed to build empires. They're a country, we went there for one reason, we stayed 20 years, 20 years longer than we really needed to, and uh, now we're leaving. There are no spoils of war anymore. There's not supposed to be. But undoubtedly, some politician is going to try to spin it that way. So just be ready for it. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.